Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So I just did an unboxing of the Sobro smart side table and I installed the app and was connected it up via Wi-Fi. I created a couple of video, different videos for both of those processes on, um, on, you can find them on my channel. But now I'm actually going to just do a quick demo of the Sobro app because it is not really that intuitive and it took me forever to figure out how to set the, um, the smart light on the bottom to automatically go off the smart light in the front of the unit to automatically go off when I walk by it, it, it's very it, it's in a very odd place in the app so I'm gonna just click on the app we're gonna go in there and see and see what it's about and then so from the main screen you basically just have two controls front light and back light and the instructions it looks makes it look like the main screen has some other things on it but I'm gonna show you how to get there in a second so here you can basically just control manually so I'm gonna hit the front light and um, now when I walk up to it, it goes on. But unless you do something else, it will just stay on, which is sort of annoying. And I, I don't want that because that will keep me up all night. Um, the backlight is, um, is, it is what it is. So you basically just have the ability to enable it here. Um, and I love this. So it, it glue, it's a glowing blue light emits a glowing blue light behind the unit to give sort of a, a, a cool ambient effect. Which, which is neat, but then to get into the additional settings, which is where the real, real magic happens, you need to click on the little arrow um, to the right beside where it says front light and back light. You see there's a little, um, I guess that would be less than sign um, at looking arrow. So I'm gonna click on that arrow now. And that brings you into the screen here where the magic happens. So as you can see, front light is, ne is set to manual. And then, so all those little arrows give access to, little arrows like the one I just clicked on, give access to different controls for each one of the, each one of the settings here. So for front light, I want absolutely it not to be manual, but for it to be automatic. And what's cool is you can also control the brightness here. Um, and, and it really lights up nice, um, which, but I think I'm going to leave it right around where it was. Uh, maybe we'll crank it up to 70%. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's, it's pretty neat. And then you can choose between warm, which I, I think maybe for nighttime. Ooh, it, it's a nice, it's a nice yellow. And now I'm actually tempted to crank the brightness up just a little bit more because the yellow is a little bit more dim. Um, so this is really going to come in handy when you're getting out of bed in the middle of the night to use the bathroom or whatever. Um, it will automatically turn on if you hit this automatic button. Um, and now it actually gives you some di additional settings. Um, so automatic, the front light will light up when the environment gets dark. I really don't need a nightlight. I like things to be nice and dark, but the motion sensor, um, so nightlight is automatically checked. So I wonder if there's a way to turn that. Oh, maybe it has, it's related to the motion sensor. So determines how long the light stays on. So 15 seconds is not enough. I'm going to say, let's call it one minute. Give me enough time to get back from the bathroom and then the night light it's not allowing me to deselect it so that i wonder about um but if duration and motion sensor are turned on presumably that would mean that the light only goes on when motion is detected so um here i don't know if it gives me it doesn't give me the option to save anything and so automatic is selected we have our color temperature set to warm i'm going to brighten that up just a smidge and then the brightness is at, let's call it, I'm going to go down, drop it down to 75 even. Um, pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the back button. And now let's wait a minute. So I'm, well, I'm going to, well, I, I'm not going to hold you up, but um, presumably the light is going to go off after a minute, um, which is exactly what I want. So that motion sensor, motion sensitivity is, is sort of key. And I think one of the cooler features of this table. Um, so the backlight, you also have some controls and you can adjust the color, the brightness and so on and so forth. So right now it is a little bit dim. I do like the blue. So I didn't, I'm not, I'm not going to touch the blue, um, but I am going to brighten it up just a bit. And I'm not really seeing a difference here. Let me, let me. Crank it all the way up and see, we'll see what that does. I just hit pulse and it is pulsing. Okay, cool. So constant, rhythmic. 
I believe this will go to the beat of a of your um, favorite tunes. Um, so if you're playing tunes through the Bluetooth speaker, for instance, and I also noticed that it is it's responding to my voice as well, which is interesting. So, but we're going to leave that alone for now. We're going to leave it on constant. And as I cranked up the brightness, I don't really see that big of a difference. So that could be, that's something to, for me to play with. And maybe that works with other colors. So you also have the option to do scenes, warm colors, cool colors, pinks and oranges. You can control the brightness and so forth. So for warm colors, um, I just jacked it up. And again, it seems to have a little, uh, no, it, it is actually, it's brightening for sure. Okay, it just takes a second for it to, for it to brighten. Um, and pretty neat. And then so custom. Um, so this will also let you, um, you can add your own custom colors and so forth. So definitely some configuration options here for the backlight, which, which is super cool. And then, um, so the alarm, uh, I don't want to get too deep into this cause I don't really know that much about it, but presumably, yeah, the sounds are going to come through the Bluetooth speaker and, um, will also, you'll need to be connected by Bluetooth and I believe the app needs to be open in order for the alarm to work. So, so that was the other, other caveat here. You can also choose to have a wake-up light, which I believe, um, or not. <laughs> I'm clicking the button, nothing's happening. Um, yeah, so maybe we need to edit. Uh, wake-up light. Yeah, so it's interesting. For this screen, you need to hit the edit button up above, and then it will let you save it. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try out the wake up light and we'll see see how that goes. And ooh, I do not want to wake up at 7 a.m. every day. That's a little too early for yours truly here. We're gonna say 8 a.m. Save. Ah, please note your alarm will not work today because there is not enough time. So like, wake. Okay, that makes sense. Your alarm will work on all future scheduled days. That's fine. So tomorrow it will start working. I'm gonna click the save button on the upper right. Um, to ensure alarm functions properly, so what I just said, keep the Sober app open and make sure Bluetooth is enabled. Okay, cool. So if you don't want to deal with the alarm, just close out of the Sober app. And the, so next we're going to have, um, so bedtime we'll leave alone. Um, so that will allow us to adjust lighting and so forth um, for about, let's take a quick look. Bedtime. Yep, so you can actually choose to enable a sleep sound. You can set what time the sound goes off. Light rain is one option. Um, and you have the light process repeat and so forth. So that's kind of cool. And then, so the sleep aid, um, again, you can choose to have some, um, uh, I don't know, ambient's probably the wrong word, but some background noise or white noise, um, to help you sleep at night. So sound, light rain, and there's a few different options here. So we would like to access Apple music and video activity in your media library. Okay. So we'll, yep. I'll, I don't mind that. Um, so that way I can play my um, album music tunes through through the table as well. And then so here, I'm going to go with ocean waves. I live on the ocean here and I do enjoy my ocean waves. So why not have the table complement the noise outside? And then, oh, interesting. So here, instead, I could also select my bedtime music. And those are the few lame songs that I have on my Apple music on, <laughs> on this phone. Um, because I don't, I, I use Pandora now. I don't, I, don't, I don't really use Apple music. So, um, so you can actually have instead of the um, white noise, you could actually choose to have your favorite bedtime tunes play. That, so that's kind of neat. And then you can select the, the, set, the, time, the, the time range that you want to have um, the sleep aid run for, which is great. And then cooler. So the cooler will turn off if the cooler draw has been open for longer than five minutes. So that's already on. And I noticed that it is cooling. It's chilling. I put some water and some other beverages in the drawer and it does seem to be cooling quite nicely quickly so within i've had this set up for maybe an hour and the, the stuff is already getting pretty chill in there so the draw works well and i do believe <coughs> it's just the left draw that cools and the right one i believe is storage but I, I will confirm that anyhow so that's just a quick tour of the app and again i think what's really elusive here it took me a while to figure out is that you need i thought i only had two controls but you just need to click that arrow to get to to access um all of the other controls um, which there's quite a bit of configuring configuration with this thing. So really cool. Anyhow, if you got any value from this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a quick thumbs up, um, I hope that it helped you and subscribe to my channel. I do all sorts of, um, tech videos, smart home and so forth. Um, but that's all for now. Tech Timmy signing off. Uh, hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.